A lot of the time when guys are in conversation with a girl, they don't really fully connect with the girl. So they end up having quite sort of one dimensional conversations or, you know, conversations that are just really kind of surface level and it's just basic stuff, basic information exchange or maybe just really logical ex information exchange. So for example, you might start talking about, I don't know, food or like some restaurant nearby and then you just talk about like the intricacies of like the, 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 the stuff that's going on in the restaurant like oh yeah I tried this meal and it was really nice and then I saw this uh, stuff on the menu and I wish I'd had that and I was there with my friend and he had this and it's just like it's just kind of mundane and it's kind of ordinary it's kind of boring it doesn't really you know spike the emotion so what you ideally want to do is it's okay, to, for example, to go down that trajectory initially. So talking about, you know, the restaurant or whatever, whatever the topic is, but try and, you know, uh, proceed towards some kind of emotional connotation based on what was initially something quite logical. So some kind of factual information, you know, talking about a restaurant can lead down to something more emotional, like, oh yeah, I, I was so bloated at the end of the restaurant. I was so fat, you should have seen me you wouldn't want to be talking to me right now. You know, it's just something that is a bit more kind of interesting and uh, and it's just something a bit more kind of intriguing and, and emotional. That, that's kind of what you want to strive for when you're having uh, conversations. Now, this is obviously something that is a little bit more advanced. So say, for example, you know, you're new to this and <clears throat> you're not really used to just talking to random attractive girls in public then you're going to have a lot of anxiety. You're not going to be fully comfortable in the, in the situation. So like doing this stuff is like, you're kind of getting ahead of yourself, basically. Obviously, first of all, you need to be like fully comfortable in your interactions before you can even consider doing this stuff. Um, and I would even say that it's almost impossible to do this stuff unless you're 100% fully comfortable because you just won't be in the moment. You won't be fully present in the moment to enable you to do this. Because it's obviously no good kind of going into interactions with some like pre-rehearsed lines or you know some kind of script of what the, or, or trying to kind of imagine what the scenario is going to be like and oh yeah I'll speak about this topic and then I'll move on to this topic and then trying to like pre-plan everything and script everything out it's just it's, it's not going to really work it's not even sustainable anyway so you know even if you had a great interaction one time you're not going to be able to carry it on for, you know moving forward if you see the girl again anyway so yeah it's important to be fully present have a really clear headspace being just generally be in a good mood like you know i i'm someone who generally advocates uh, doing it uh, anyway you know doing that approach and doing day game even when you feel kind of in a shitty mood or even if you don't really feel like doing it because oftentimes you're just not going to be in the mood anyway and you're better off you know going in there having a shit conversation um, and even if it is a shit conversation you don't lose anything you still benefit you still might gain something you never know uh, and you move on to the next one and your next one is is likely to be a lot better because of the fact that you're building up social momentum um, so yeah so but you know eventually you know if you've been doing this for a while you want to try and optimize your conversations you are, you want to be optimizing the stuff you're talking about because it still has an impact you know um, you know sometimes it's not necessarily gonna swing the girl wanting to go on out on a date with you whether she makes that decision whether she wants to see you again sometimes it's not gonna do that but sometimes it might you know, if you can display ex extreme charisma, humor, intelligence, uh, captivating uh, storytelling or whatever, you know, like just something interesting about you, you know, it might sway, sway the girl more towards actually, you know, wanting to meet you again. So, you know, optimizing your conversations, optimizing your, your interactions is something that you ideally want to be doing. But yeah, a lot of it is about kind of not being stuck in that kind of logical mindset where all you're doing is relaying logical information and having kind of a boring, ordinary conversation that anyone can have. You know, you kind of got to think about it this way, like, why should she want to go out with you if you're not really bringing anything new or interesting to the table? You know, she's a high value girl, she's obviously attractive, therefore she's high value you also need to be high value for her to consider you but you also need to you know be ahead of all the other options that she has 
you know she has plenty of guys to choose from if she's attractive so why should she want to go out with you so yeah so you want to be optimizing your conversations as best as you can and generally you want to have a conversation that's actually triggering the emotions to some extent um, or just something a bit more interesting and a bit more unique so like you might start off with logical information but then you springboard off that kind of logical information into something a bit more emotional or something that's just a bit more imaginative a bit creative maybe slightly humorous maybe play a bit playful a bit um a bit flirtatious at, at times as well you know that's always good as well you know starting off with something boring and turning it into something interesting that's a really really key skill to getting good at this stuff uh, so yeah that, that's what you want to try and practice so you know maybe you notice something about the girl maybe it's an item of clothing maybe it's a red dress don't just think oh I like your red dress oh where did you get it from oh I bought it from Primark or oh, I bought it from Zara oh cool oh I haven't been there for a long time oh when did you last go it's just it's boring it's really fucking boring why should she want to engage with you further you know beyond that interaction if it's just going to be boring information exchange um, so, you know, think about what a red dress could imply in a more sort of creative sense or in a more uh, imaginative sense. You could go down a certain trajectory as her with a red dress being like some kind of bullfighter and you're like the bull or something, you know, just some kind of playful narrative, something creative, something interesting and intriguing. And even if it sounds a bit cringe or it doesn't quite work out, or it sounds a bit stupid and ridiculous. I mean, it's not necessarily such a bad thing, but you know, I always tell guys it's always better to have, a, say something stupid or completely silly and illogical than something boring. It's always so much better. Um, <clears throat> and at least it's something memorable, you know? So don't be too careful uh, in your conversations about the stuff you're saying, um, but most importantly, be willing to take that risk, you know? Cause Although it seems risky to say something a bit out of the ordinary and a bit outlandish, it's actually um, more risky to just keep it really kind of flat and boring because you know you're more li you're more likely to kind of lose her her interest that way anyway. So yeah, it's always better to you know take that risk, say something a bit insane or a bit ridiculous than it is just to keep on that kind of flat line. But yeah, the key thing is just practice, you know, you've got to practice this stuff and you've got to be comfortable uh, and relaxed in conversation because if you're not relaxed, it's very, very difficult to uh, do this stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, it's more kind of like a, a kind of mentality in the back of your mind. It's not something that you can pre-plan or pre-rehearse or like, oh yeah, if she's got a red dress and I'll say this, if she's Italian, I'll say that if she's got blonde hair you know that kind of works to some extent but it's not really that sustainable it's it's more it's better to, that it actually just comes to you in the moment when you're actually there in the interaction actually there speaking to her and when you've kind of got these concepts in the back of your mind and you're in generally a good place in life and you're um yeah you're you, yeah you're, you're you know you're taking action and you're motivated through the process of taking action that's when you know the, the good stuff happens so it's it's kind of like a combination of different factors right? and you're not necessarily reliant on just one thing thanks for watching if you want to be able to do what you see me do in these videos head over to my online course which covers pretty much everything you need to know about day game to get to a good level and actually implement it in a manageable way link is in the description